Tulsa and had a miracle. Tulsa, you're a miracle. Blah. See some Grafton, by the way, down the road. Put up your hand if you've never seen a miracle. Wow. I mean, tonight you're going to see some miracles tonight. Have any miracles? What happened to you? Yeah, for, uh, for many, many years, I was uh, suffering with pain in the head. Uh, but of course, like that now I've had lots of falls of horses. I don't know what I'm going to fall, I guess. But for the last five years, I've been troubled with constant headaches. I've been to doctors and specialists from Brisbane, Ross, Philly, Sydney, and everywhere in between. And I've spent thousands of dollars on and, um, the treatment with the specialists and doctors, and no one could give me any relief at all. So I went to John's class in class this night, and he, um, he just asked me where I had uh, pain, and it was in here, the shocking headache. And he said a prayer over me, and uh, the pain was almost instant relief. Uh, after he said a prayer and took his hand away, there was still a little bit of pain there. So we repeated the procedure, the pain was gone, and that would have to be about seven or eight weeks now. And I haven't had the sign of a headache since, and it's been a new life for me. And also, so after five years, and doctors couldn't help you? That's right. And uh, even the arm doctors have found that result of that, and the wife reckoned I'm a new man. Now tell us about it. You said, you said, you went and got, tell us about the procedures you had while you went in the hospital. What, what happened to you? Oh, I had, uh, I had... Uh, nerve blocks. Nerve blocks. Nerve, nerve blocks into the uh, nerves. Injections in your head. Uh, in my in head that uh, John Hunter Hospital in Newcastle, all well, these nerve blocks and they didn't do anything for me. But I did get relief for the anaesthetic was in the, in the nerve. <laughs> as soon as the anaesthetic wore off, I got the headaches back. And uh, I had a cough salve and I didn't live more everywhere. Now, now, just tell us the reaction of your doctor who's treated you for a while and you walked in there and told him what happened. What? <laughs> tell us about what happened in that doctor's surgery that day. Oh, he said, I, I don't believe it. I can't, I can't believe that this has happened to you. And I said, well, you can't believe it because uh, if it happened to anyone else, I wouldn't believe it myself. But I said, it's happened to me. It's real. And it's, oh, no, it's happened. And, so, and so when you came to my meeting last time, you'd never seen miracles like that? Never. And, and you're saying you're a bit of a sceptic? Yeah, I was, I was uh, sceptical about it, but it's worked, it's worked for me, and, and I don't know why it's worked, but it has. It's That's Jesus, mate. It's, yeah, it's Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Now, you also bought my first book, Miracles in the Dust. How did you find that book? That's the best book I've ever read in my life. What was that? <laughs> uh, what was something from Dust? Dribbles in the Dust. Yeah. Dribbles in the Dust. So how did you find it interesting? Oh, well, it was just, it was just miracles from the dust. It's, it's miracles. Full of miracles, isn't it? Yeah. Is God good? He's funny. Now, maybe somebody's here, and they've got a condition that doctors said they can't be cured and they can't get help, they're suffering. What would you like to say to them now? I'd say, come out and... Keep joining us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, thanks, mate. Good idea. <laughs>